morning channel welcome back to another video i'm jesse and you're watching i have not done an unboxing in quite some time and i have packages okay we got we got packages in a house all right i have so many things to unbox we have my monthly feminist book club box i've got some packages from amazon i have packages from publishers there's there's a lot going on so without further ado let's get started this first oh i forgot that they were sending this this is a memoir titled made in china and i really dig the cover i just love how the scissors pop do you see that that is that is pretty that's pretty dope also the praise on the back of this book is fire so much of american rhetoric is about what we are owed this graceful memoir is about the much trickier problem of what we deserve which is in the end brightest love that was written by lacey crawford who wrote notes on a silencing and that automatic that book is automatically on my tbr just what beautiful praise this also was blurbed by one of my favorite authors nicole dennis ben and she says that Anna Q, Anna Q masterfully evokes her childhood with a power and grace that speak of an experience that no one should have to endure. Also blurred by Alexandra Chang, author of Days of Distraction, which I'm currently reading for a secret vlog. This book was so kindly sent to me by Catapult Press, so thank you so much to Catapult. This is a book about a woman named Anna who, as a teenager, her mother forced her to work in her family's garment factory in New York City. But instead of agreeing to do this, she calls Child Protective Services and a lot of really awful things happen. I love memoirs. They are my favorite way to forage into nonfiction. I would love some memoir recommendations in the comment section down below. Some of the most powerful, poignant books I've ever read in my life are memoirs and they remain near and dear to my heart. Also, this is it's like it's less than 200 pages so i think i could get through this in a day the next package is from amazon and yeah yes oh my gosh they came they came they came these are little charms for my roller skates i wanted to bling out my roller skates you know so look look at these charms they are amazing just check these out y'all i love the texture look at the oh my gosh Stop. This one is me. I've been wearing my hair in Afro puffs off and on over the last couple of weeks. I just, I'm just in a mood. Look, I just love these. These are really beautiful. And then, oh, this one's dope. This one is really dope. Dig this, especially because it's in the 90s art style. I really dig that. And then the last one that I've got here. Okay there we go just look at that these are so cool i cannot wait to put these on my skates so i have two more packages from publishers this package is from penguin random house hey what are you this book is called build your house around my body and this is one of the most creative fascinating covers i've ever seen wild just look at this just look at this, y'all. This is beautiful. A century of Vietnam's history and folklore comes to life in this brilliant sweeping epic that swaps spirits and sheds time like a snake skin. Okay, this is a book about two young women who go missing decades apart. 1986, the teenage daughter of a wealthy Vietnamese family loses her way in an abandoned rubber plantation while fleeing her angry father. And then in 2011, a young unhappy Vietnamese American woman disappears from her new home in Saigon without a trace. That is all I need to know. Here we go. I want to see if I can work this into my July TBR. I This sounds really good. And I haven't heard of this book. Have y'all heard of this book? It sounds so good. I want to read that. I definitely want to read that ASAP. Then I've got this big box from Hachette. Hi, Akasha. What you doing, Puff? What you doing? I'm filming. Yeah. I'm filming. You don't care, do you? It's just standing there creepy like a serial killer. So excited to see what's in this box. Oh, all right. There's three books in here. Okay, not me trying to pull all of these books out with my little paw. All right. So the first. 
I'm sorry. What was that noise that came out of my body? This is the Ice Pick Surgeon Murder, Fraud, Sabotage, Piracy, and Other Dastardly Deeds Perpetrated in the Name of Science. This is one of my anticipated releases. This cover is gorgeous. I love, like, one thing that I nerd out about that I never talk about on this channel is my love for medical history and the evolution of medical science. And that also includes psychology. It just don't get don't even get me started i cannot wait for this book i'm just gonna put it down or i will start reading it right now and thi oh this is a really interesting cover okay this book is called a touch of jen and it is a hipster it's described as hipster noir acerbic social parable and slasher gore fest and it's a debut crazy okay what is this about a young couple's toxic instagram crush spins out of control and unleashes a sinister creature in this twisted cinematic and viciously funny debut this is about a couple of insecure service workers who are not happy about having to work together their entire relationship revolves around fantasies regarding this social media star named jen and when they run into her their obsession <laughs> They're, they're they're upset okay. their obsession turns into psychedelic horror you are so rude you are so disrespectful why are you like this huh hi i just have one more box okay i'll see you soon pup we literally just went on a 15 block walk. She is so dramatic. I played with her. She just acts like she never gets love and attention. She hates when I'm in this room because she knows she's not allowed in here and she knows that this this is like nothing fun happens in this room. Now it is time for my FBC unboxing. I really, really love FBC and I have been a big fan of their boxes well before I started partnering with them. I've been a fan of FBC for I think three years now and they started they asked me if i wanted to partner with them late last year and it's just been a really beautiful ride they are a podcast as well as a bookish subscription box that is centered around intersectional feminist reads and they donate 10 percent of their proceeds to a different charity every month and they also feature items in each box that are from queer, trans, women, marginalized individuals, and creators with a focus on small, local, independent businesses. The thing I like the best about this box, other than it's well curated and I've never been anywhere close to disappointed, with one is that you're literally helping various communities by buying this box, which I think is pretty freaking cool. So let's see what they sent this, oh my gosh, Ah, so they sent this almond, cherry, and coconut granola, and I'm mad because I just went to Trader Joe's and got more granola, and this, this only has four grams of sugar, non-GMO, wheat-free, it is organic, it is, oh my gosh, it's local, it's made in Minneapolis, that's dope, I love that, coconut, sea salt, cinnamon, nut, sunflower oil, okay, it's got some protein, I am, oh man, now I just like want to get get a cup of yogurt and have some granola this please tell me this is beer okay so this is lemongrass coconut sparkling water it is called Ourobora, and I really love I I love the can art this is this is really nice packaging it is herbal sparkling water which we love to see and this is made in San Francisco California then we have this is so cute okay moose are my favorite land animal and this is a moisturizing a moisturizing lip balm but it's called moisturizing it's moisturizing lip balm it's got little moose i'm dying stop i started mad gabs in my mom's kitchen over 25 years ago i can't i cannot okay so what else is in here we've got we have Rutabaga Ginsburg. We have, we have Tina Turner. St and then we have Okra Winfrey. I'm done. I'm I'm unsubscribing. Um, 
I'm done. This is freaking hilarious. And the, I love my, I, this is, I love this box so much. You see why I love this box. Like I don't even have to hype it up. It, it does the work. It hypes its own self up. Oh, and then there's stickers. These say I'm sweet on you. And they remind me of those scratch and sniff stickers from childhood. Let me know if you grew up with scratch and sniff stickers. So, and then the book. Yes, this is Fierce Fairy Tales, Poems and Stories to Stir Your Soul. And I am organizing Mythathon round two, which is likely going to happen in August. And it's gonna be bigger and better than it ever has been before. This book is written by a British Indian author. And each team is going to have its own group book. Booktubers from various BIPOC communities are going to be co-hosting alongside me and we're going to each be celebrating the mythology in our cultures and it's just gonna be really really fun so stay tuned for that announcement so i'm really geeked that i got this book and then as always there is a handwritten thank you card for being a part of the box so five percent of the purchase of this box goes to kundaman.org and kundaman is a national nonprofit organization that commits to nurturing writers and readers of Asian American literature. There is a feminist book club readathon happening from July 22nd to July 25th. And if you sign up on the website, you can be eligible for prizes and all sorts of fun goodies. So if you wanna get 15% off your first box, you can use my code bowties and I will leave that code and the information about, about this about this box in the, <laughs> okay. I guess it's time for me to just wrap this video up. All my social media links are in the description box below. Stay safe, wear a mask, and I hope to see you in my next video.